Now the same thing that she said to me. Blessing the night, people. Y'all rock and coming all of Y'all don't know it's the little Miss Pep to the cell. All know I'm dressed for the occasion. Mm hmm. Come on, people, rock and coming. You know I'm approximately like 10 minutes late, but you know I'm already here. Is here better than whatever the devil is a liar. Mm hmm. Rock and coming. Let me give you a word of prayer, people. Come, 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 come. The little is here. I'm looking all dashing and flashing. Pleasant good night to all, to all, and to all. A pleasant good night. And I'm Amanda Jackson. Pleasant good night to you, baby. Mm hmm. Joy and pleasant good night. Red Oman. I oh, know. You hear the people say, Red Oman, what? Red Oman, go break your heart. I oh, know. Lovely chocolate. Mm hmm. One and move. Come on, people. Tonight will be a night of all night. Need a light. Pleasant good night, baby Sandy. Present good night, Roshana. Good night, good night, good night. Uh, big up to the Majid family. All uh, now, Tanza, I want to say happy birthday to you, Tanza. Today you return 17. I think you're going back in time, Tanza. You need to get older. Present good night to you. Kiana Smith, present good night, Natasha. Person, present good night. Now, let me give you guys a word of prayer. You know, there are different prayers. There is the GD prayers, and also there are the foreign prayers. Let me give you the prayer. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Amen, amen, and amen. That was a very lovely prayer. I pray for everyone. But, um, people, nevertheless, tonight I will have my loving friend. Um, her name is Chandel Wilkerson. Is that Wilkerson? Williamson, yes, people, Williamson, but she will be on in a moment. Alice Daniels, good night. I just let me start talking things tonight and let me get with the program because I already prayed for you guys. I want to hear my voice out, people. Um, thank you, thank you. Yes, I'm, I have upgraded. I'm in a new place, in a new environment, people, and I have upgraded. So, I first, I want to say, people, um, let me start off my program tonight by talking exactly about. Um, I got a call like few days ago. There's a trending thing. A trending thing going on in Ghana right about now and we're gonna get into depth we're gonna actually get and talk about that but I, I had a phone call the other day by one of my colleagues uh, one of the trending comedians also I'm not gonna call name she knows herself but she called me and she's like um pepper um I noticed that um Lola doll went on vacation and she got locked up then she was like um Mel Mel just now come out of vacation and she also got locked up too. She's like, Pepe, you know, you on vacation. I said, not me. Not me. I be broke. Not me. Don't buy dog. Them man got nothing for me right about no. I know why the trending girl. I know how to do my things. I tell you. Nobody and mm -mm -mm -mm. Pepe don't go. So I know Miss Lana Grand big up yourself. I know I be broke in the name of Jesus. Yes. There is a God, people. There is a God and he's watching over me. Who vex lose? Oh, I, I, I want to say, I want to give the next shout out to, um, I want to give the people, uh, I want to say thank you to all the people who make donations to my cash app so far. Thank you. You know, it's going for a very worthy cause. And on December the 25th, again, for the second time, we will be feeding the needy whereby we will, um, we will clothe them, feed them, cut their hair, bathe them. Um, What's next? Um, there will be doctors out there because preparation are starting from early. We are not waiting for last moment to end up like last year, but nevertheless, the feeding will go on. I want to say a special thank you to Natasha, um, Teddy, Doria Barnett, Philip, um, Celicia, and Africa. I want to say thank you guys for supporting whatever I'm doing. And there's a lot more names, and every week I'm going to be calling names. Michael Kennedy, all now, big up yourself, one and move, Rochelle Cameron, um, Ideli Watson. Okay, let's get into some more topics. Um, basically, like I said, the trending stuff is going on in Ghana right about now. Uh, let me let me let me um educate you guys on certain things. I know some of some of us we all have our subjects and all these things, but let me let me educate you something. When you're uh, um when you're attacking any organization, as for me, I know how to attack. But when you're attacking organization, you don't go directly. Because these people have so much rules and regulation and so much laws, they could um they could charge you for what they, uh, what they may call it definition of characters and all these things. They find laws that they don't even follow. The laws that they don't follow, they want to use on you. But if you're attacking anybody, um, in future reference to all who are on social media and doing this stuff is um when you're attacking, attack from the side and the left. Don't attack frontward direct because when you attack frontward, that what I'm trying to say, you're gonna be get get seen. So if you attack from the left, don't call names. From the minute you call names, you're putting yourself in a position there where people could attack you back. So if you're attacking somebody, give them some other name. People are going to know their story. The way how you format your stuff and how to attack people, people are going to know exactly who you are speaking about. So you don't. You don't attack direct. Everybody going to see guys like you're, you're in the open. Take the side and the back. Like we know um, for the... Um, some the the, 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 the um the hospital that they're talking about the Dalawan thing 
Yeah, so I think it's a dollar one thing and they say, um, dollar one thing has been a lot of babies and these things and all these fancy things has been going on at dollar one thing. You know what I mean? And I'm not going to say, but I don't know what is going on with that um, organization or hospital or, or whatever it is, but I feel um, if, like my friend told me earlier, if that doctors and whosoever looking after you had to pay responsibility for whatever happened to you, I think they would have done a better job. Because nobody wants to go into the GD jail. The GD jail, like I told you guys, is not a nice place. So I know for a fact nobody wants to go in there. So like I told you before, if you're attacking, attack from the left or the right. Don't go center. You can even catch it from the back. Catch it when you're not looking. Yolanda Rodney, pleasant good night to you, baby. Yes, and as I said, I don't want to um, think much on that topic because I don't want nobody coming for me. And y'all know my story already. I is not that type of girl. Mm-hmm. Darky, good night, baby. I'll now one and move my thick friend. Big up yourself, Miss Rodney Jack Reynolds. Big up yourself, Russia Cameron. Where are you, Nadine? And Dennis, where are you, girl? Wendy George, pleasant good night, good night, and good night. Mm hmm. Okay, people, let's get into another topic also because I want to keep it smooth, sharp. I want you guys to understand what I'm trying to tell you and I'm trying to educate you guys also because woman we name and we bar lucky. Mm hmm. Nirmala, pleasant good night, my love. I know you know I don't forget you, babe. You know, though, I never bruise it from you. You know, my mouth hard, but I like to keep my, my, my friendship relationship very close. You know, maybe good. Annie. Good night, babe. Ah, uh, Neil by no big up yourself. I know you're locked and load as always every Sunday. You are one of my faithful supporters. Ah, uh, no, one and move. Um, like I said, woman, we don't fall, we stumble and we get up and we go again because if you can carry baby for nine months, even ten, trust me, it's a lot. It is a lot. And what, what I, let me tell you a topic I want to get into to the males. A female may need you more. When they are pregnant, when a, a female is pregnant, she is scratchy, she is moody, she is fidgety, she is everything. She, she, she don't want things that she don't even need. So you have to cope. You have to cope with that. You know what I'm telling you, people? When you, when your uh, partner is having babies, nevertheless, I notice for a lot of fathers right about now, when you're in that um pregnant stage, like you go through your your three to four or five months, now you get. Scratch it in all these things. No, it's a lot of argument, a lot of quarreling, all these things. Yes, no. So, the fathers, them, they need to cope. Even if, even if that you like the feelings, because when we females get moody and all these things, Chevron, good night. When we get moody and all these, moody and all these things, yes, so the men, they, they, they intend to draft away from us. But nevertheless, remember now, we are bringing a life into this world. If me and you are not coping, I think you should still pay responsibility to the to the unborn child that we are bringing into this world. Because listen to me, if a female is happy, we are strong. We are definitely strong. But if a female is bringing a, a child into this world and we don't get that support, uh, we end up with a lot of complications. Sometimes, sometimes there's times when we get cramps and all these things. And guess what? We will need you there. There's times we will need you to give us a little rub back, a little massage. We need comfort in. Comforting, as I say, the devil is a lie. He's trying to put different words in my mouth. Else, no, not tonight. I'm um, friends. Good night for you, Stephen. Good night, Michelle Passad. Pleasant good night. Yes, even as I was saying, and you don't know, it's a trending girl. I'm um, Vanessa. Pleasant good night to you also, baby. Yes, Mackenzie. Good night. Yes, uh, we females, we will need that support from you guys. And I know for a fact, some of you fathers, you are running away from your you all. What lord in my mouth? Out, man. Mm, devil is a liar. Yes, you are running away from you, your responsibility, and I think you need to pull your act together because let me tell you, God don't be a man more than what he can handle. And trust me, your time will be coming. There's always a judgment day. Mm -hmm. One and move. Um, nevertheless, females, I have to say to the females again, don't ever let no man tell you, leave your job and he's going to take care of you. Let me tell you something. You're going to need your own. You hear what I'm saying? You're going to need your own stuff. Whatever that man have is his own, not your own. So don't let no man come and follow your head and tell you what baby arm um, left for and take care of you. Because when you ready for left you, he left you with nothing. Like I said, you need your things. Continue being independent and be a girl like me with your things. I'll know. One and move. Mr. Lando, you are dear. One and move. I'll know, Mr. Lando. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I was saying, don't let them follow you here. Listen to me. Some of we females, you know what happened to me? We get carried away by um, the sexual activities and how good it is. Because when it's so good, we, we, mind, we, we intend to don't think. 
When I say we intend to don't think we mind folks gone, we like we just then an old out of world way that we leave men to just control us 24-7. We cannot do nothing for ourselves. It's like it's like it's like a spell. They, they they whatever they use down there, it's like they put a spell on us and like we can't think. But you need to focus. I've been teaching you females Lana, you need to focus and observe this thing from a very early stage. Because some men they are just coming coming in your life to mess it up. Let me tell you, they come in there to mess it up tremendously. So you need to absorb these things. Some men, they just come, they see you have a loving job, you're earning money, they're just there to take and take and take and take and take and take. And trust me, it, it's, it's not a nice thing. So people, we're talking because I really want to get my guests on. So I'm just going to talk a little through more things. And Okay, this one is, it seems like a, a very nice... Oh, I, write, I write so much thing, I didn't even know how much I write. But... Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I was coming up in New Jersey. Well, presently I'm in New Jersey, presently right about now. And I saw a lot of um, Mind Your Business House. I think you guys may know, I may explain to you what you call the Mind Your Business House. Because um, in New Jersey, there are like separate houses. Like, not the giant up one. The giant up house, them is the house that they have in New York and this place. Um, Brooklyn, sorry. Brooklyn, we have these giant up house. That is the house that you call your mind, your business house. Whereby your neighbor could put the ears, they could listen. You can't do nothing too rough in your house. You know I me, mean? they're there to listen. Everything that goes on. Sometimes they even bore holes in the house. It's like you don't have no privacy. That's why the house is named the mind, your business house. So I, I feel that's something Um, I know again I have a through, but you know I me. Mean? Nevertheless, let's get into this. I know. One and move. Mm -hmm. Let me see what she's telling me. Mm -hmm. Okay, people, and like, like, like I want to say again, thank you for your cash up donation. And Natasha, Natasha Gills, Tabby Hooper, Dorian Barnett, Soraya Phillips, Celicia, uh -huh, and Africa. DeAndre, never forgetting you also, boo boo. One and move. So let me get into the rest of the topic. And this one is for the men who only need female when they are in need. Listen to me, there's not no such thing as only when you're in need. You're supposed to be the what should I say? You're supposed to be in our life. Once you take up that responsibility of being her uh, my boyfriend, I can be I can use me. If you're gonna be my boyfriend or whatsoever you're gonna be, listen to me. You're there is that point of us that you're there to stay. You hear what I'm saying? And we will need support. Don't, don't, um, only want need me on the Sunday nights when you're feeling nice and, and maybe the Saturday night. One to the, the course of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and thing. Listen to me, you need to have time for us also, not just your friends. Because when you need a little nice time, you don't go to your friend, you come to us. You, we make you feel like you're a grown man, you're in another world. You know, we do stuff. We do stuff to make you guys feel comfortable and actually satisfy your needs. So just don't need us uh, one day in a week. We need more time. Like I said, we will need more time, interaction time, and all these things. So every little thing comes right about now. You know what I mean? You could just wake up in the morning and say, baby, I love you. You know what I mean? It mean every little thing. You know, you don't have to take us out 24-7. Everywhere you go, you take us. But we just need certain timings. You kind of want to be with your boys all the time. No, 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 no. When night time comes, you ready to cuddle and get something squishy and, and thing. We are here for you. When you need a, pl a place of food on the table, we are here for you. Let me tell you, when, when, you, are, when you are there to bring a, a child into the world, when you need to bring a child into the world, we are here for you. You see something, when you're lying in a sick bed, we are here for you. You see some almost on a, on a different stage we are here. So we need time also, people. The devil is trying to distract what I'm trying to say right now, but I know the devil is lying. Get out of my mouth. Yes, you see, he's putting a lot of mixed words in my mouth, but never let people you know who the little is and I'm the trend of your and your people. I don't wanna I don't wanna be too long on this. Let me say I'm about to bring my guests in and actually you're gonna hear our story our story and then we're gonna have a little chat. Okay. Okay, just come sit on your sushi. Mm -hmm. Good. Alright, people, I want you to lock and load. This is my lovely friend, Shondell. Hi, everybody. Wilkerson. Mm -hmm. Williamson. Williamson. That's the devil is a liar. <laughs> the devil is a liar. Ah, oh, no, people, this is my friend. Um, You're from Guyana also? Yes. Yes, yeah, she's from Guyana. And 
Which, what should I actually say? I know you had a little in. I want to call it a little instant because this is something big. Yes. Yeah, that's the reason why you're up here and you're yes. on the undergoing surgery. Yeah, sure. Okay, people. Um, you want to tell people a little about your story? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay, people, um, sit in and listen up, people. So everybody, um, my name is Pepper Say Shonda Williamson. Mm -hmm. I don't know where he going. Where she going with the Wilkinson? I don't buy the man. <laughs> it's Williamson, and um, I'm a mother of two. Two boys. I was dosed with acid in 2017 by my kid's father. Um, the reason why is because I say, you know what? It's time. Mm -hmm. Enough is enough. Because mm -hmm. I was in an abusive relationship for almost nine years. Wow. And wow. it wasn't easy. So it was like, you know what? This is my finishing point. I have to put an end to it. And when I do decided to put an end to it, he disguised in a female version. And I was staying by a girl, one of my friends. And he was, when I was walking in the yard, he just came up to me, you know, dressing all female with the hair and the clothing mm, and everything. He, he the limit. And yeah. But mind you, he was living in Linden, so he drove all the way from Linden to Barbies with the intention to damage me. And you know what? He damaged my face, and I have a little bit of scar, but mm -hmm. look, the beauty is from inside. Exactly. Every time I step out, mm -hmm. I always step out with confidence. You know what? Mm -hmm. I look beautiful today. Definitely. That's baby. it. Definitely. Yeah. And my kids, them, they're back home. I'm over here um, going on my surgery. Um, I have this week I will be doing my 13th surgery um, I could see a little but right now I can't see much because on the left eye is like every time they open it up it always close in it closing down so the doctor says like when you have a cut you know the tissue always trying to join together it's trying to come in. yes yeah. so that is what going on so it's like every time they have to like cut and cut and cut and it's not an easy task it is really hard but i'm making it i always have a smile mm -hmm. on my face Definitely so busy. yeah mm -hmm. like i said we don't fall no we stumble but what, what, what? exactly i always say that too mm -hmm. i say i might slip but I will not fall. Yes. Mm -hmm. I will not. I go with the trend. I'm still standing. Mm -hmm. He tried to hold me down, but I'm still standing. And he's, he's locked away presently right about now. Yes. Yes. And he need to stay there. <laughs> he need to stay there because these are the type of men that, let me tell you something. Let me explain. I know a lot of people, a lot of males, they be vexed when I talk. Yeah. But these are the type of men and they want to do stuff. Yeah. But in yeah. two, look. When they are doing things, they intend to think that you are also doing. Exactly. That, that's how their mindset. Because yeah. they, if I could do this, mm -hmm. definitely, you know me. And like yeah. you said, you yeah. was in a abusive relationship for nine years. Yeah. Oh, baby girl. I, <laughs> it's, when that, I look wrong. back, that's yeah. Wrong. When I look back, I was like, for nine years, I didn't even notice, you know, the years. I mean, the days going, the weeks going, the months, the mm -hmm. years. I didn't even realize it was that long. But let me tell you something, you are strong. Why I would say you are strong? Because for nine years you was going through that and then for build that momentum said, you know what, it's time to leave. Yeah. Not people cannot say it's time to leave. They they prefer bear that strain and stay in it. And that's how a lot of young people and I wanted to just say young people. Yeah. A lot of individuals yeah. that's how they are losing their life. Well, I applaud you I, for coming out of there. I think they go through it because you know they stay in mm -hmm. that relationship because they, like you say, women ha always try to be independent. Mm -hmm. Because if you're not independent, remember you're trying to like depend on this male for something. Exactly. Always independent yourself. Mm -hmm. You have kids. You might want your kids to be in a broken relationship. Mm -hmm. You know what? You the mother is away, the father is away. And you so, try you try to hold that exactly. Uh -huh. So that's the reason why you know you always stay inside of it. And another thing. You, they might lash out at you. When they lash out at you, they take you. You know, they they will look at you like if you're the fault. You might think, you know what, I'm the fault, but truly, you're not the fault exactly. because they're not supposed to even put 
they had on you. Listen to me. Some men don't know to treat females like how they are. Listen to me. We are queens. Yeah. We call you guys king. <laughs> I tell you, we do everything, we always support you. Now, why would you want to order your queen? True. They're not that though. Yeah. You had kids for him. Now, yes. what, what are the examples you are setting and then it's too boy, Yes. Now, um, you're doing this thing to the mother, and then th there's your, your, your boy cheering there, and they're seeing everything that daddy's doing, and yes. they intend they to walk up, you know what? Exactly. When they get their girlfriend, they're going to be like, me father needs to beat me mother, yes. so I want to beat you too. True. They're going to want to do the same that they see their father do it mm -hmm. they don't think it's right so that's why you have to make a step up as a woman make a step up mm -hmm. and move forward that's the reason why i keep encouraging female get a job be independent yeah. um listen to me when you're going into a certain relationship lay down your ground rules exactly don't allow the first knock in knock you find the station exactly. we got rights right yeah. tell you the thing between we all know mm -hmm. we got Oh, oh. Yeah, and they need they need to like when they make the first hit, they will come in the romantic way mm. to apologize. So you know they you always, might feel yeah, they that's always. true. You might feel you know what oh he won't do it again, and then you go again, and next romantic, and you you know you you um you realize you're in that cycle over and over and over. But you have to make a change for your exactly, life. Exactly, exactly. A lot of people saying good night, they're sending a lot of love messages to you also. Oh. Um, personally, at the moment right now, she can't really see right yes, about now. Like she, she got to go and do another story just to go open up the eye. Yeah. But I'm going to rock and come in for she. Oh, no, hello. Hold there. Nothing in Ghana, you know. She still got her beauty. Yes. Nothing in Ghana, I, so. Mm, I hear she mouth she mouth strong. <laughs> And uh, I still have my lovely smile. Uh, uh, Everybody give me a smile. Oh uh, no, smile for me. <laughs> One and move. Yes, but let me tell you something. I'm, I'm glad that he's in lockdown. Yes. And I hope people like them, need, those are the people need to be in jail. Exactly. Because if you can do a woman so much of cruel things, what more you can do? Yeah. And I feel you must be watching. Yeah. Because I know in the GD jail, they, they, they have their stuff. Yes. Yes. I wouldn't say what kind of stuff they have. I know they, they, they have the little Stop dish the dish and all these <laughs> things. So they're, they're lacking and loading. You know what I mean? They're lacking and loading. But this is a cruel situation for a male to yes. do a female something like this. Yes. He has no heart. Like I tell you, no heart, nothing whatsoever. Because yeah, he wasn't thinking at the moment. I have two kids. My mm. kids are small. Mm. He, my biggest, my big son, he's eight. The small one gonna be six next month. So, so you could imagine when my when this happened to me, my big son, he was just only six years mm -hmm. old. And you you do something like this, you didn't even he didn't even think, you know what, what gonna happen to my kids them mm -hmm. and you know what gonna happen to me. It's like he was like, you know what, if I can't get you nobody else can get you. Mm -hmm. But um when this happened, how did the reaction to you or your kids see you, you know, me in a different when it happened, when he threw it on me, um, totally, it was like a feeling I never had before. Because when, when he threw it on me, all I could see was like a lightning. Because remember, it went to my eye. All I could see was a lightning. And I was like, it was dripping all over me. I didn't even want to feel my face because I feel like my whole one side face. Yeah, that, that's how that, that's Yeah, I feel like my me. whole one side face like it out. I had to ask my friend. I was like, what happened to me? How my face looked? She was like, no, nothing around with your face. But I could feel the dripping. Yeah, your friend, like it was the skin dripping after off. After a while, it, it um, tends to like soak in. Yeah, but it, I, you know what? I thank God for my life. Yes, you Because really. I still have life and I can still talk mm -hmm. out and reach mm -hmm. out to so many people. The more I talk about my situation, the exactly. happier I feel. Exactly. You, you want to let it out. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I can't keep it in because, you know, I'm in my scars. I could reach to so many people mm -hmm. to, with my scars. Because they might think, you know what? Be, you, he hitting me, you know, it won't get into that point but you 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 can never tell when it's gonna happen i'm wondering how does he sleep <laughs> well how the, does he sleep knowing the fact that he did something to the the mother of his two to um boy child yeah, yeah. You, boy yeah. You must let me tell you something you have your own judgment exactly right tell you and it got this to me you best pray that you see me by the judgment <laughs> gate because <laughs> you ain't getting in there and the lashes i give you left right and center <laughs> eh? 
many times I went to court like couple well time and many times I always want to ask him you know what why just that that just that I want to ask him he make why? He make and you make it never come out it never come out out of my mouth to ask why but let me tell you something let me tell you something no if he get free I tell you <laughs> mm, father you speak <laughs> got nothing like that could could do all this here, so yeah. Look, he needs what's going from bail. Yeah, he is. He needs what's going from bail because let me tell you something. They are putting the people who got narcotics and this thing from bail. Yeah. But the people who got serious crime, yeah. them is the one they put it from bail. Yeah, all best focus. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's be fair and square. Yeah, it, it this, is that, really unfair. This was not a mistake. It's not a mistake where you was getting this thing so where they fall and just spread. No, 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 no. no. He, this was intentionally. Exactly, because he, he, if he could have drove all the way from Linden to Burbies, and you know how the how long mm. that is. He, he have a mind more law. Some of them, listen to me. Some of them, I think some of them glad that this hang system coming out. Oh, it's, it's, I, oh, it's yeah. not, it's still there now. Okay. But it's not um activated uh, because oh. of um human laws and all these yeah, things. Yeah. But this is this is too much. The, this yeah, this is a man never put he out of me yet. Mm -hmm. I had friends like not like no kissing up in these things. Yeah. I had like boyfriends. Mm -hmm. Now I'm boyfriend in these things. Yeah. So. Well, I'm 18 now. I'm eligible <laughs> to get a boyfriend, but I'm not right. gonna get because okay. I'm still studying. You yes. know, you know when you come to the, the US now, it's always work. Yeah. work. You have I, to go back to school. You need to make your rule. You. Dating somebody, you make out this rule. Mm -hmm. Look, this is it. I want this, I want that. You have a right to speak. And enough time, people, I mean, women go through the, go through the, um, the domestic, you know, abuse. Mm -hmm. And they don't speak out at all. They, they're, they're, they a don't. lot of them are scared. A exactly. Lot because when you go, and some of some people know some, um, I see the peace officers, mm -hmm. some then they just drag the foot. Because when you go make a report to them, no, they, they don't take it serious. Yeah. And true. then you got you, you got to go home back. Yeah. And when you go home back, no, oh, you, you got police. And not a bad And they, they threaten so you. True. They threaten you 24 7. If you go back and you do this, I can. Yeah. The first word, let me tell you, the first word men use when they want to threaten you, I can kill you. If yeah. I can't get you, I can and kill you. These are the things they use. Word you don't take it lightly. That's what I always say. Be be mindful of the words that come out, out of your part of mouth. You mm. might take it as joke, as but you yeah. are listen to me, I don't but take nothing for granted. That, me too. I learned from I learn from that. I learn from that. If you tell me you're gonna bite me again and report it. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. I'm not taking the things guys them know for granted right about it because some of them are coming like angels to you. Yeah. They are coming, they're sweet, they sweep ah. you off your foot, they talk to you so nice, and within Within a couple of months, when they get everything that they want, from uh, yeah. the minute you give them your precious, exactly. everything changes. That's the true. phone calls, yeah. the visiting, mm -hmm. everything. Some of the wild with the buys, all these yes, things. Some so. of them, they will even spend the last dollar yes, on that, you. Yes, that is how they call <laughs> the trickeries. Yeah. They do anything, they, they go to that limit yeah. to get you. And That's why you when have to get... be careful with material things. Mm. Don't let it, put, don't let it like, drive you away. No. I've been mean, I mean, speaking to female because... Like everything they see, most females, not everyone, everything they see right about no that Material glitter. Stuff. Yes. Eh hey, hey, yeah. blow up. Eh hey, hey. yeah. These men on for example, like in the early US now, mm. you don't have to get a whole set of money to get a vehicle. <laughs> right? You could get the lease vehicle, buy a vehicle and lease all these things. You don't have to get enough money. Yeah. It's not in the Caribbean country it's where you pay a set of money. Mm -hmm. And they could rent it for one week, two weeks, come drive you around all over the place and the next thing they tell you when you're not seeing it, um, you know, gone in the workshop or gone for spray. You need to detect these lights on your clock. Exactly. When you're dating late. Your background check. Exactly. I, I told, your background I told check. them, give them the 90 days. The 90 yes. days is three months. Yep. If you're not satisfied, give them another 90 days. You're not rushing. You're not, yep. you're not old. And most of our teenagers don't rush. Yes. So yes. we females, we need to live a little. Yes. We ain't seen nothing yet. We were a man. Yeah. I know it go on with a lot of these young women. You, you know, know they don't have, they don't even like get the time to grow. You don't. They just rush into a man. Soon as exactly. they see a man, especially if he's driving, if he's riding a motor car, a, I mean, mean a motorbike or whatever, they can't feel. There is not much love anymore. It's like a lusting now. 
True. For and for that's... instance, one little girl, she was tormented by her friends and that because all her friends are getting pregnant. Uh -huh. She's only sixteen and she did a proof point. To show people that she could get pregnant, get pregnant. Now who's Whoa, looking after who the child? The, oh. the grandmother. Oh Jesus. No. Granny looking out because at sixty she can't take care of no child. Yeah. She ain't got. As a matter of fact, that body ain't even formed. Oh was, my God. It ain't even <laughs> mutated yet. You know me, and they they wrecked out their self at an early age. Yeah, you gotta allow yourself to grow. Love yourself. I mean, listen to me. I mean, when I I. I learned from my mistake and that's why I could like speak out because mm. I learned from my mistake sometimes so mistakes, I know how to act mistakes are meant to exactly. be happen, but if you could detect it and prevent it yes you could actually get something yes. out of it and some you know people, all these things here some people they don't learn from their mistake they go and make the mistake over and over and over but no the mistake is there for you to learn from mm. it they need, they need to start female, yeah, I need to start pull your yeah, If you don't want to listen to me all the time, look, she's here to testimony her own story. Exactly. Now look, now look, like I said, everything is there. She can have a big heart, everything, and she's still here. Yes. He's listen to me. I don't know how we sleep because I know presently right about, now let me tell you something. I know it's five or six months you got sleeping because I know what goes on in the GD jail. You hear what I say, the GD jail. It's yes. five, because you, you don't know comfortable, you don't know comfortable sleep. He must be mapping floor or something like <laughs> And you know, some shots. Well, he is he make his bed. So yeah, and he, he needs lie, need lie, lie there. Exactly. Lie all according to even these um these simple arson and these things is um twenty or forty. Yeah, you calculate he, he age, multiply and give him years, man. Don't yeah, fight him. Yes. Give him years, he deserves it. Yeah. Okay. For doing such a thing like this, is it a queen? You deserve years. Yes. You, you he have earned it. A matter of fact, he has qualified for years. So if the um Mawarship if you decide to give him <laughs> a little fifty sixty, I think that's a little bit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Give him years. Don't yeah. don't be afraid. Yeah. I have given you that uh proof um mm, I think own. I think that's the reason why these men acting out too. Mm -hmm. Because you know they do something, they know it won't be that that like penalty exactly my point. So you, we need to have like a stricter one for them. So women we need to like you know fight for it. Man, we need fight to for it, yes. We need to speak out because a lot of stupidness happening. A lot, a whole lot. Hey, what Every time, mm -hmm. together we can't be divided before. We need to yes, hold hands. Exactly. Like the new, whoever gonna be the new government, if it's still Granger, we need to put out a word. Mm. You know? I, you know yeah. what I like it over here now? So it, things happen, right? Yeah. But not that much because as soon as you do quicker fingers, so the police are there by your door. Exactly. And that is something we don't have in Guyana. That is something we do not have in Guyana. So that's what we have to like. As women, we need to like hold hands, speak out, protest, whatever we got to do. Because we need the law to come. Because let me tell you something. The laws are there for a reason. Yes. But we are not, in our country, we are not using these laws yeah we only use it for our own wickedness yeah yeah now we need to if these laws are there we need to use them yeah true if xyz is there stop by cutting things and doing things the other way yeah. or yeah want me to write a law book i could create <laughs> one i could create a one or a proper one too and everybody will be comfortable mm -hmm. yes. if, you know i, I don't know if, it, if, if it's a true right but i hear in one of these countries so when your teeth the chop your hand off so every, time you see, every time you see a man with yeah, come I know teeth. You know teeth. And if your teeth get the chap up, yes, I know where your teeth went. I don't know how I don't know how to is it. Uh -huh. Oh, and next thing I want to get out, right? Yeah. Um well you know what is um Uncle Daniel says he's gonna round up a lot of people from over here oh. that are staying here illegally and uh -huh. he's gonna send them home. Oh my so gosh. um I want my fellow guys they, they have to make space. <laughs> You have to make space because a lot of people who are here illegally, they will be coming home and some of them may be thief, may be convict, so yeah. uh, they may put one or two in some places because they are coming with an upgraded mind, so they're thinking and they're thiefing, everything is upgraded now. Oh my gosh, you can so, imagine what happened to So a lot of petty thief now will get put out of business. Oh, Jesus. So I think that um you guys should start looking for jobs now. Yes. Yeah, because they have the foreigners, they deported back to Guyana. 